And if you want to learn how to shadow box like this, I want to show you right now. When you are shadow boxing, there's a few things that you need to think about. The number one thing and the most important thing is having good form and technique. If you're trying to just shadow box for speed, you're going to look terrible. And we don't want to look terrible, we want to look good. So always think about that good form and technique. And a few things that you can think about with this is when you're moving, keep your feet apart like this. We never want to be bringing our feet together or crossing our legs because we look terrible, we're more off balance and we can't throw any punches from that position. So you always want to be keeping them feet apart. Now another thing, another common mistake that I see is people dropping their non-punching hand, which means if I throw a jab, bah, bah, I'm bringing this down here, firing the bone arrow. No, we don't want to do this. This stays up here. Bah, bah. No matter what punch we're throwing, the other hand wants to be by the face. So if I'm throwing a one, two hook to the body, this is staying here. I always want to bring the hands back to the face. And with that, that's going to really help improve your shadow boxing there. When you're working on good form, good technique, doing them things is, is really going to help. Now, another thing, you want to stay relaxed. Never want to hold your breath. Mm, stay relaxed. <laughs> Exhale as you're punching. <laughs> then thinking about when you're throwing them straight punches, you want to fully extend your arms. I see it all the time where people, because they're shadow boxing, they're just taking it easy and they'd be like, meh, meh, meh. and they're doing this sort of crap here. If you're shadow boxing and you're like this, you know, what's going to happen? You're going to get into bad habits. We don't want to get into bad habits because if you get into bad habits, it takes a very long time for you to get out of them bad habits. So let's avoid them at all costs. Try and always stay with good habits. And to do that, like I mentioned, you've got to slow it down. So slow it down. Even this speed here. Bam, bam, bam. Wham, wham. Working on good form. Then once you slow it down and, and work on good form, then you can start to speed it up once your form is good. Now, another thing to look like I was doing in the beginning, to look like that, you want to start learning about head moving. It's a bit more advanced, it will feel a bit more awkward, and you want to move your head before and after every punch. Now, when you move your head before and after every punch, your shadow boxing goes from this to this. And like right there, I can see and I can feel much better. So. Moving your head before and after every punch is, is great and it's key for you to look like a pro when you are shadow boxing. Now I know shadow boxing can feel awkward. We're punching fresh air. So, you know, work at it. Slow it down, speed it up, and you will look like a pro eventually. Let me know how you get on with this video. Watch this video next and learn how to improve your footwork within three minutes. Click here right now.